Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another timeless pick a card reading. Today we are going to work with the Lord Ganesh G deck. As you can see, I've got my tiny sculpture of him here. I brought this from London. In my suitcase, I had limited space. It was half full of astrology books half full of one pillow and I managed to cram this guy in there as well so I thought I'd bring him here we can take a look and see what we're going to shuffle and see is what obstacles are in your way and I guess a high level way of summarizing that is to say that in everyone's way there's one main blockage and that is actually our thinking so let's see if we can get a bit more specific as to perhaps what kind of thoughts or what areas of our life or let's see if we can dig a bit deeper and, and see if we can get more of an understanding so feel free to choose from group one group two or group three and I'll see you in your reading Hi there, group number one. If you chose group number one, then you are in the right place. Before we shuffle these, we're going to draw some oracle cards. We'll start with Lord Ganeshji, see what he has to say. And then we will draw some tarot. I hope wherever you are, you're having a good week. We go, we'll start there and then we'll take one of these. And well, I hope you're going to have a good weekend, most importantly. I'm going to launch this tomorrow <clears throat> on Friday. And yeah, this is a nice way to just unwind, isn't it? Relax with a pick a card, see what's, see what. Perhaps there's maybe some messages, some subconscious messages. Something might come up here that you really need to, to hear. I'll start with these and then I'll shuffle these after. All right, so let's see what's going on for starters. We've got, ooh, inner knowing. Gosh, that's beautiful. And quite clearly, Lord Ganesh Ji is in meditation. Actually, this is the hero image of the whole deck. Look, that's just one of the cards there. I won't flip it around. I could, but I won't. <laughs> that's amazing. This is the ultimate card. The artist chose this as the hero image of the whole deck. Amazing. Perhaps you have been going within to find the blockages of your life. Perhaps you have been reflecting and doing your spiritual work. That's wonderful. Caring connections. Lovely. That's really beautiful. And number five here. So change. Perhaps you're experiencing some changes in your relationship scene. We'll dig deeper and find out if that's the case. Let's see what this is, a tarot card here. I'm going to read all these upright. Um, okay, four of pentacles. So you've been holding on, been holding on to something. Okay, let's draw some more tarot and see if we can get deeper into what's going on. I haven't used this deck for quite a while. It's really pretty. It's got a lot of gold foiling in there. Okay, this one wants to jump out. We'll take three. If we need more, we can take more. Mm -hmm. These came out pretty easily. All right, let's see what we've got going on. Hopefully these are upright. Nine of pentacles, beautiful. So this is a solitary enjoyment of wealth, a real self-satisfaction. You're on your own, I would say, or perhaps wanting to be 
in a connection with someone. But this is indicating to me that right now it's good for you to be enjoying time on your own. Be, enjoy being on your own. Enjoy being you. I'm kind of, yeah, I'm getting a vibe of like Rahu in the first type energy. This is a time of, you know, and maybe you might even feel inspired. See, I was just thinking of Rahu in the first. You might feel inspired to reinvent yourself at this time as well. Oh, wow, the King of Wands. Fantastic. Great energy. This is, he's the most creative king. He's creative, he's a visionary, he's a leader, he's in charge, he goes after what he wants. I think this is one of the best kings. I love all the kings. I, I can't decide which one I love the most, but yeah, I, I he, this one's really impressive. Okay, excellent. Oh, how wonderful. The four of wands upright. So I think this is your dream. Your dream is to create this magnificent, abundant life that you're sharing with other people. I would guess, if I had to guess, I would guess a lot of group number one people here today, I'd say a lot of you are single and you you want to you want to share i think perhaps you've been holding on out of fear of getting too close to someone out of fear of being vulnerable perhaps you've been burnt in the past and you find it difficult to open up or difficult to share you are abundant you are doing great have a think here we've got obstacles what are the obstacles maybe because maybe hmm this is your obstacle there's something here that is your obstacle I think it's the past I think your obstacle is the past there's something that didn't work out in the past and that's keeping you alone or isolated and reluctant to go after which is what this guy does right he goes after what he wants you know he he goes after it he makes it happen he he charges ahead and this is what you really want you want to create this beautiful life And I, I think the obstacle is the past for you. Let's take a look and see what guidance comes through in the jar. Oh, we've got Carl Jung in here today. I'm very excited about this. I did these on the weekend, so I've really completely forgotten what's in here. But I know it's just all Carl Jung. <laughs> and it's just started to rain outside. It's so nice. We need this rain because, my goodness, it has been so hot here today in good old Sydney, Australia. Oh, look at that. Who looks outside dreams? Who looks inside awakes? Carl Jung. Yes, this is perfect. Because look, we've got this card here. Inner knowing. That's what Carl Jung is asking you to do. He's asking you to go within because that's that's how you're going to engage your firepower by going within by withdrawing your need for the outside to be giving you confirmation or confidence or whatever that's important so many of us we're looking to the outside world for oh should i do this or should i not do that or you know we're looking for bounce back from the outside world a big part of this reading is saying to you and you could even be here on this reading looking for a clue looking for some guidance of course but this what's being said here is that 
you you could drain your time or you could drain your life away by looking for clues from the outside no you've got to kind of close your eyes go within withdraw from the outside world have less need for feedback or bounce back from the outside world and you emerge, you give your light, you give your firepower, you give your creativity out without giving a damn about what the outside world thinks. That's what this is. It's like you're being asked to go deep within, forget about the outside world. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter what anyone says or what anyone thinks. You be creative and you give that to the outside world definitely and this could also be a work message as well this could also be uh, a message for you to not care so much about the outside yeah external opinions so many things I do are creative and weird and like but I just have to do them you know <laughs> and then it doesn't matter what what people say or whatever it's like well I gotta do it I gotta do what's what's inside so there's something like that here for you that I think you've got to, and perhaps, perhaps you have really cared about someone's opinion in particular. Um, well, we will look at this, but yeah, there might be, and this could be, this could be a past partner. This could be your current partner. This could even be a parent, really. This could be, you know, someone in your family, someone close to you. Maybe you have really cared about what they think, and this is very much asking you be independent say it anyway or create it anyway and go after your dreams now you are free you know you're free you're free to create what you want we are not what happened to us yeah we are what we wish to become perfect for this reading yes you that that is the obstacle that is absolutely the obstacle it's the past and it i think it's also caring about what other people think and you're being asked to really let that stuff go to not care one single bit what anyone else thinks and as well to very much let go of the past just because you were hurt in the past doesn't mean that people are going to do that in the future and I think if you hold on to this and um, if you don't let this go you keep it within your energy field and it will manifest again into your experience okay because the mind only creates i got that from lester levinson the mind only creates so the mind is always creating it's always sending out you know this the king of wands it's always creating and what's being bounced back to you is what you're thinking so you got to let go of old relationships of old patterns of old outdated things you're holding on to them that th th this card is literally saying that you are holding on <laughs> so you have to really let go of um of the past of past relationships of past dynamics that aren't working let them go because otherwise the the universe will keep reflecting that back to you or bouncing that back to you or keep bringing you the same person again so you have to create something different now and that's going to require closing your eyes going within and not mm, needing any stimuli or feedback from the outside world who are you and what do you want to give out regardless of what anyone thinks that's what's important at this time oh group one this couldn't this could not have been a more this was like an arrow this reading was really clear. Oh, and we've, I don't know if you can hear that. We've even got some thunderstorm in the background. So really clear. And these two very simple lines, are just perfect here. So group one, thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. I love hearing from you and hearing how these readings go. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there group number two. If you chose group number two then you are in the right place. Let's take a look. So before we shuffle these we're going to take one of these Lord Ganeshji 
cards, we're going to see what obstacles have been in your way. I don't know if you can hear, oh, now that really wants to be here, so we'll take it. Um, I don't know if you can hear the thunder in the background, but I think it's quite atmospheric. Is that a word? <laughs> I hope so. It's, it's good, it's dramatic background noise. We haven't had rain for a while. It's been really hot these last two days, so we need, we need a cool change here in good old Sydney, Australia. All right, let's take one of these, and then we'll take a look, and then I'll shuffle the rest of the tarot. I hope you're having a good week, wherever you are. Shuffling to see what obstacles are in your way. We just had a really good reading for group one. The reading was very clear. Okay. Ooh, perseverance. Right, an elephant's tusk, yeah, 28, hmm, okay, let's keep going, I'm not getting anything so far, ooh, door to value, good, this is exciting, yes, and some thunder, gosh, I hope that comes up. That's exciting. A big thunderous confirmation. Yes, you are meant to create abundance. Okay. How are you going to do that? King of Pentacles. I mean, that couldn't be more obvious. By the way, I'm reading all of these upright. I'm just going to turn this around because clearly that's upside down. Yeah, th this could not be more obvious straight away. You are destined to create quite an abundant life. Okay, so that is for sure. Oh, I love this. She's got... <laughs> She's got, look at that. Oh, I hope this comes up on the camera. Look at that. She's got like a, a little kingdom in her hair. But I suppose that could be representative of a little kingdom in her mind space. Or she's dreaming of creating a kingdom or something like that. Oh gosh, I love this card. That's so beautiful. And of course with this deck, they do mix it up. You know, they've got masculine king of pentacles and they've got feminine king of pentacles they have extra cards in this deck and i just keep them all in there because i just love all the drawings i think they're all beautiful okay so we clearly know that you are building a really abundant life here and remember with vedic thinking abundance is not just oh that rain is quite heavy i hope you can still hear me i think it should be all right well, look at that, you're a rainmaker. I mean, that could not be more obvious as well. I think I might just close the door, guys. Hold on a second. Sorry about that, I thought I would just close the door. It is absolutely pouring with rain so that is a massive omen okay <laughs> it has not rained for the last two days these cards come out and there's just r like big raindrops outside so that's the rainmaker you are the rainmaker your everything you're doing is to bring in abundance and what i was saying earlier was that in vedic philosophy or vedic system of thought or whatever abundance is not just money it's love, it's health, it's creative ideas, it's inspirational wisdom, it's all kinds of things. So don't be limited in, you know, yes, we've got here a depiction of, of actual cash, but, that, you know, and that might all change soon as well. I don't know uh, what's happening there. I'm, I'm going to do an astro chat about that at some point. Let's take a look and see what's going on with tarot. I'll just check these are, yeah, these are upright. Oh, this is exciting. Let's see. So I think you've been working really hard. I also get that sense that you've been working really hard. Let's just take them all. I don't need to shuffle. There we go. Too much. These are really well shuffled anyway. Okay, let's see what's going on. Oh, fantastic. This is the Queen of Pentacles. This is amazing. So we've got divine counterparts here. Okay. So perhaps some of you are looking 
to find that special someone. So this is a massive confirmation that yes, you're going to have that. You're going to meet that person. But this is also, this is Queen of Pentacles. She is, you know, the businesswoman in charge of her own operation and she's thriving, she's loving what she does. Wonderful. Okay, so now we have got, um, I have to work this one out. This would be, it's got a crown on. So that's the King of Swords. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the knight has a little horse face. Yeah, so this is the King of Swords. Okay, this is, you're going to use your intelligence to do all of this. You're going to be strategic. You're going to be, this is not you kind of, um, you're really using your mind here. You're not using, yeah, y you're not having to labor too much this is work smarter not harder okay that's that's very much what this is yeah you gotta work smart oh wonderful the four of wands we had exactly in this spot with some thunder as well amazing um we had this exact card in group one in this exact spot so that's pretty amazing I don't know if some group one people are joining as well. This is great. So you are very much looking to create your dream life. You are very much looking to create, you know, that, that happy, beautiful home scene. That, and I'm getting in my mind as well that perhaps maybe you feel you didn't have. Well, the, the, there's something about this is and I'm not feeling this in a sad way or any of that I'm feeling this in a you want to do it differently way you want to create something that you haven't experienced I think that's what it is yeah it's it's not like I'm not saying that y you've never known this or you never had this or no not quite like that there's something new that you want to create here there's something really new and different and this is major, major, major confirmation that it's going to happen. You've got two, you've got the royalty sitting here. Well, three, okay, two kings and a queen. You've got two fours as well. You've got a number one here, which is that new beginning. And that's the newness of what it is that you're going to create. I don't see you recreating the family life that you grew up in. I see you taking the best of that. I see you looking back and taking the best of it, bringing it forward and creating new things. It's incredibly exciting. Wow, group two, this is amazing. And it's still raining outside. So that is, you are the rainmaker. You're going places, you know. And look, how, what kind of speed are we dealing with? How, yeah, I think it's going to take time. <laughs> look at that. Perseverance. This is, this is the, it's, it takes several years to become an overnight success. Okay, you're putting in the several years now. You're in that phase. Okay. You've also got Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. This is, this is not happening in a hurry you know it's going to take you time to achieve this and i think this is massive confirmation that the angels are cheering you on i think they're incredibly proud of you they're saying you're doing great keep going yes it's hard slog but it's making you a lot stronger a lot sharper you're gonna learn through the process of doing oh oh that is big thunder i do hope that came up on the recording <laughs> you're gonna learn through the process of doing how to get sharper and faster about what it is that you do. Okay, and the only way to get sharper and faster is to do the work. That's why I was really getting a sense that you, this, you're not doing anything too physical. This is kind of mind stuff, mental stuff, being strategic at the moment. You know, maybe later it will be more physical. You're traveling, you're actively getting involved and, you know, but the world is still a little bit shut down. Uh, in some places so you know let's see what this is <clears throat> it says here everything that irritates us about others can lead us to an understanding of ourselves yeah that is true 
That is true. And I think with this King of Swords energy, you know, maybe you need to be setting a boundary with someone uh, at this time. Maybe, yeah, maybe you do need a boundary because when the King or Queen of Swords comes up, that is, yeah. That could be time to set a boundary there. That message may not be for everyone, but but that might be relevant to someone right now. Okay, let's take a look and see what's in here. Wow, we kind of got this a second time because this really fits with this. You always become the thing you fight the most. Yeah, if you spot it, you've got it. It's that thing. And do you know, that works two ways, that, that concept of if you spot it, you've got it. If you spot something negative in someone else, you have that trait. And so you're judging it, which is, I guess, a bit counterproductive or it's not the best Wait, believe me, I do. I judge. Like, <laughs> I'm a judger. <laughs> so I, I do this. I know this stuff theoretically. But I'm not always the best at applying it. But, you know, I, let's say I spot something in someone else. That means I've got that same irritating thing within me. And I judge it. And that's where I'm doing something not great. Equally, if I spot something I admire in someone, well, I've got that too. And that's really important that we realize that that concept of if you spot it, you've got it, it goes two ways. Yes, it goes in a negative way, but if I admire something in someone, oh, that means I can do that too. And for the longest time, I used to watch YouTube and I admired so many YouTubers before I began. I was just like, wow, I was in awe of what they were doing. And I was like, wow, I want to do that one day. I don't know if I can and oh, I'd be terrible at that and you know, all that kind of thing. So, and now guess what I get to make videos so yeah I mean this does work both ways but at the moment some of you here might be in a situation where <coughs> you are having an issue with somebody and I, what I would say is just kind of have a, have a boundary for now it's not forever but it's just something you need for now while you work out what to do with this energy and ultimately what you want to do with this energy is you want to let it go and it's it's that anger hatred the judgment the, we want to let that stuff go and that's not easy the way to do it is is to feel it to write it out um, to allow it to recognize that we all have this that all those unpleasant emotions are natural and yeah, take a little bit of a time out. Yeah, exactly. We don't really, oh, more thunder. God, I hope this comes up on the recording far out. That is loud. Uh, it says here, we don't really heal anything. We simply let it go. Yeah, exactly. So if you've got a lot of anger, if you've got a lot of negativity, a lot of hatred towards someone, a lot of like, I just can't stand them, you just, judging the life out of them like you know I know I, I, I know all of this and uh, what you got to do is you, yeah ha you have it it's like and how I see it is you've caught the hot potato and how I deal with it is I, I hold it and I yep I let it burn my hands a little bit and then I put it down and then I just let myself heal and that's what I yeah, you know when you're if you have healing energy or you do this kind of healing light work or any of this because the hot potato everyone's always throwing it somewhere and I always think the hot potato gets thrown down the line it gets thrown down our ancestral line you know you have the same issues that your mum had she had the same issues that grandma had and then great grandma had it too and how many generations did it go back everyone's throwing the hot potato down the line and I've kind of vowed that well when the hot potato comes to me I'll catch it I'll let it burn my hands and I'll put it onto the ground. I'll give it to Mother Earth. I'll put it on the ground and I just take out some time to heal. And that's what I think 
someone here might need to do. You need some time out. You need a boundary with someone. And you need to vow that, look, okay, I'll just catch this awful stuff. I'm not throwing it back to anyone. I'm not doing revenge. I'm not getting angry. I'm not going to blast you. I'm not going to judge you. I'm just going to catch this hot potato, put it down, put it into Mother Earth. You can kind of visualize yourself doing that. I sit on the earth every day when there's a bit of sun and I just kind of, you know, sometimes, yeah, I might even say silently in my mind, you know, Mother Earth, please take these lower energies that are with me and she'll, she'll clear you. Group number two, I am wishing you a lot of love, actually. I hope everyone who's here is okay. Take care of yourself and let me know how you got on in the comments below and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there group number three. If you chose group number three then you are in the right place. By the way it's very rainy, very thundery so every now and then you might hear a giant clap of thunder. I know group number two got quite a bit of that. Let's see what happens for you guys. I'm so interested to see. Oh now it's really raining. Let's see what obstacles are in your way. So we're going to draw one from this Lord Ganesh G deck. And we're going to take one of these. I hope your week has been good wherever you are. Ooh, just knocking the camera over there. <laughs> I hope my voice comes up. Gee, I'll have to find out. When I edit this, I have no idea. Oh my god, the rain. I'm glad I got the laundry up from the washing line. That would all be drenched. Oh gosh, actually I do have one thing out there. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I just realized, I'm like, oh no. Ah, it, could do with, it could do with a bit more. A bit more rain, a bit more clearing. Cleaning. Ooh, steadfastness. That's beautiful. 32. Okay, we've got a change number here as well. Steadfastness. Yes. It's riding the elephant. It's on a journey. Okay. Wow, storm warning. My goodness. I wish I could show you the rain out the window but this room is really very messy and I don't want to show the room <laughs> but there is a lot of rain coming down we've got thunder as well so that couldn't be more perfect okay let's take a look and see what it wow nine of wands all right yeah there's some big energy here guys some big energy I'm getting that you might be quite tired Something perhaps has been draining your energy. And you're coming to the close yeah, I think you're just I think you've just about completed some massive pattern or dynamic. You've been steadfast through this whole thing and you have been riding this uh, to just about a place of completion, but you mm, let's see what's in here. Let's get some more information from tarot. Let's see what's going on. Okay, yep, he wants to be here and she wants to be here. All right, good. All right, Knight of Pentacles. Wow, something really slow. Gosh, but they're amazing. What a contrast you've got. Like, one of the slowest energies in the deck right next to one of the fastest and I'm getting Saturn type of vibes here actually so I think while you think things are going really slow I think you're making leaps and bounds and there's some kind of justice that's coming to you group number three wow and some light Ooh. oh that was huge. That was the biggest clap of thunder I think I've heard in a long time. <gasps> oh my god, we'll take a look at the bottom deck. Healing, look at that. All right, that's great. We're keeping that. 
Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Well, group number three. What is going on? This is massive. It's very good though. It's very good for you. I think you've healed something huge recently. Because that there is the star. That's wish fulfillment. That's, well, let's, let's put that there so we don't have such a big shadow. That's wish fulfillment. That's, I'm going to put that kind of there because that is coming. I, I think you've, um, I kind of get the sense that you've been working on some kind of relationship dynamic or pattern for a very, very long time. And I think this has been cumbersome. I think this has been tiring. I think this has been very long standing thing you feel like you're not making progress things are going too slowly gosh am i going to keep attracting this into my life but whatever it is that you've been doing lately you're you're just i feel like you're either just on the brink or you have um just look at that her hand here she's about to slash like She's about to strike. She's about to completely transform some kind of pattern that's been going on for a long time. Amazing. And the rain is now really dying down. That is incredible. So you're either just about to, to bring your knife, your sword down on something and cut some tie and cut out some kind of dynamical pattern. Wow, we've got birds laughing in the background. Oh, amazing. Anyway, once you totally cut this pattern out of your life, look at what you have to look forward to. A huge amount of abundance and some kind of wish is going to be fulfilled. This is wish fulfillment. This is 11th house Aquarius type energy. This is you fulfilling a wish. This is total healing. This is you know repairing yourself to new this is you're never going to have to encounter this again whatever this is so in terms of obstacles in your way and i'm, I'm kind of getting this is something from childhood this is some very long-standing thing wow huge the rain is just about almost stopped <gasps> what an amazing reading Let's see what's in here. Wow. I hope all these noises come up on the recording. Yeah, I think you know this. We cannot change anything until we accept it. Condemnation does not liberate, it oppresses. Exactly, condemnation, judging, it just, just makes things worse. And that's hard because it's, it's almost like there is some weird pleasure that comes from judgment. <laughs> like somehow it makes ourselves feel a bit better, but that's, you've got to detach from that as well. That's not helping anyone. Yeah, condemnation does not liberate, it oppresses. Yeah. Whoa, more thunder. And I think, may, and that's what this is, like, when you accept that this person, I think it is a person, is the way that they are, and perhaps it's a collection of people, because perhaps you've been going through your whole life, picking up, you know, c collecting them, right? <laughs> and um, I think you're just about, I think, I think you're working out a huge amount of stuff, that when you really work it out, internalize it, understand it in full, it's like this sword will come down, you'll just cut it, cut it out. You won't need it. Because you, you'll have got your head around it, kind of thing. You'll have understood it. This is a mind thing, swords, mind, air, thoughts. You'll have understood the dynamic or pattern completely and therefore won't need it. Because it's like you don't need to be tested on something that you know inside out. 
and you know well, this is funny because this, this happened earlier in the week one of the things I was thinking about was that like when there are people in your world that they drive you crazy or oh, you know and they and or they're just horrible and and there are horrible people in the world what I was thinking about was that um because sometimes you need boundaries against people who are just really terrible right so sure have your boundary but you can secretly quietly in your heart of hearts when you're not with anyone you can just secretly love them <laughs> you know and then like let's say you're at work or something and you pass them down the hall and you have to have a stern face on because you have to have that you know because otherwise let's face it there are narcissistic characters who just rush in and keep taking and taking and taking I mean, that's a fact so you know you have to have your boundaries with certain people but then you can just secretly be your empath self and just love the whole world you know <laughs> you don't have to tell anyone you can just secretly go away and love people <laughs> including the awful ones <laughs> oh dear i don't know okay let's let's uh let's see what this is to be normal is the ultimate aim of the unsuccessful yes absolutely absolutely and i think that's one of the things that you're going to gain from dropping this pattern i think you're going to gain the ability to be more of your full self more of your true self all the time and other people might judge it as weird. And especially, yeah, if you are an empath and you're happy and loving all the time, well, that's very irritating to <laughs> the more narcissistic people or, you know, people who, um, who don't like all the stuff that we're into. We're weird, you know. <laughs> but, but who wants to be normal? Who wants to fit in? I don't, that's the thing. Um, Krishnamurti says, oh, let me see if I can remember the quote. Something about, you know, who, who wants to be well adjusted to a pr profoundly sick society? You know, it's like, this society is not okay. So who wants to be normal in it? Like, why, why would you want to, yeah, why would you want society to consider you normal? Let's take another one. Do you know what? Let's take both. I won't put anything on Instagram. I'll put something else. I think I took a picture of like a pine cone. I'll put that <laughs> this week. We're doing good on time here, 11 minutes. And I might cut out a little bit of the door closing because I went to close the door. Uh, oh, yeah, isn't that true? Gosh, this is a very roomy-like quote. We meet ourselves time and again in a thousand disguises on the path of life. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's what, that I kind of feel like you've been dealing with someone where I think you've racked up a few of them. That's why this is old and this is from childhood and this is, so this could be a parent, this could be a sibling, this could be someone that you had to spend a lot of time with when you were young. And let's say they were really horrible to you in your childhood. Well, over the course of life, we try to resolve this. And if we don't look at it directly ourselves consciously with our own consciousness, as people do in things like therapy and with counseling coaches if you're not doing that then that stuff is probably trying to resolve by recurring again through other people through friends through bosses through people you meet at the supermarket through you know these things are constantly trying to resolve um, and if we're not consciously but you see, I think you are this person who consciously looks at all that stuff. We've got steadfastness here. You're, I think you're quite fearless. Look at that. You've got this as well. I mean, this, this is a strong card actually, because this person, they're not afraid. She's not afraid. Look, she's even touching this thing in a loving way that's got all these thorns and that scratched her a million times. You are a very loving person. But there's, some, there's no need to keep going through this. You've got other things to do. And you've got better things to do with your time and your, your fire, you know, your creativity. You don't have to keep using your creative power to, to keep trying to resolve this issue because I think you've, just, you've either done it or you're just on the brink of just letting it go once and for all. And I'm talking like something huge, like something that's been going on for a whole lifetime, you're about to just resolve it in 
well, maybe by the end of this reading or in a week or, you know, uh, or you've done it or you did it last week. I think you're doing amazing, group three. Let's take a look at this last one. Oh, how fantastic. Yeah, I love this quote. Life really does begin. Oh, hang on. There we go. Life really does begin at 40. Up until then, you are just doing research. Absolutely. Yeah, I love that. That's so true. Wonderful. Well, group number group number three, I hope this has been a good reading for you. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. And I look forward to seeing you next time. And the other thing I just want to say is that the rain has now completely stopped. So that is phenomenal. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next time.